Hello, in previous video we talked about how to install Plotly Dash locally. Now from this video onwards we will try to create a Dash application. Now initially we will start with a single page application then gradually we will move it to a multi-page application because there are a lot of concepts we need to understand before we move it to the multi-page application. So what application we will create? We will just try to create a very simple polling application. So there will be a poll where user will be submitting their answers or their opinions basically and then we will try to show some visualizations around it and we will try to make that a try to make it good UI wise at least the look and feel should be good as well okay so now in this video we will start with what is the basic layout or what are the basic things we need to create a single page app in dash then maybe we will try to modify it gradually so for that if you see I have created a polling app so if you are following my previous video over there we created this sample dash app right we discussed like using Python virtual environment how we can create an app in dash and we have discussed like a dash app see nothing but a folder over there right uh, so that's the same thing I have done it over here so I just created a virtual envir environment called dot VNV so I there is no other code added over here now the same the same folder I have added to my Visual Studio code as well if you see it over here okay this, so this is the virtual environment course where I have installed under lib site packages I have installed all the dash and related libraries as well okay so all these dash code components HTML components everything so which we already discussed before now to create a single page dash application what you need is you need a python file first of all okay so let me create a file over here called app.conf okay now each and every application it requires a entry point correct so as we are talking about a single page application so this will basically this will be the entry point of the app as well like from where the code will be started running or basically if I talk about in terms of dash so where the server will be starting correct mm, because it, it, at the end of the day it's a web application so that web server has to be started somewhere so in this script only in this particular python file only sorry I have written its app.conf it has to be app.py rename app dot py here okay so and in this file also we will try to set up the look and feel of a simple page we'll just try to write a simple html div over here and see it so for that the first thing we need is we need to import dash okay now after importing we need to basically initialize the app so let's say I'll just create a variable called app then from dash there is a method called dash over here so using that I will so it's basically giving the we are basically giving the app name over here if you see it here okay so you can give any name best is underscore underscore name as you are aware about python so this you can use it as well so we are initializing the app or basically giving the app name to dash and then we have to basically run the server so normal stuff if underscore underscore name double equals to underscore underscore main underscore underscore this that's like normal python stuff over here so here we basically will be running app dot run server so there is a method called run server over here so here basically we, you can provide the host name the port name so we will see that when we will probably deploy it to cloud environment how to use this host and port as well but for your local environment if you are just want to develop it locally and see it how your apps will look like so this app.run server is fine on top of that what you can do is you can mention debug equals to 
true so that if any error is occurring you can see it there in the ui itself okay so this will this particular code will make sure your app this is the entry point of your app so this is the first code needs to be run from your app so so if i just try to run it now it will be failing it will failing one place let me let me show you that because that is a mandatory thing as well so how to run this one you will just try to run this python code if you are running from your command prompt you will be running python app.py so if you see my visual studio code also running in similar fashion right so once it is run if there is no error it will say like these things the uh, dash is running on this particular url and as we are using debug equals to true so that's why it is saying like this is the development server and do, do not use it in production deployment we will see that in in later part like how to deploy dash apps in production environment but for now this is fine so how i will see what is what's going on so this is the url where uh, dash is live correct so if i just go to that url follow link so if you see it is complaining about no layout exception that means dash needs a at least a single layout over here now what do you mean by layout layout means for a, any web application there is a web page right so in that web page we have lot of different elements right like html divs buttons whatever it is right so dash needs that at least one layout over here so that's why if you see this exception the layout was none at the time that run server was called so we have to define a layout first layout means as i told so it's a html one right so it's a, it's basically if we write if we write a simple web page it's a html code but if we want to write it in dash it is still a html code but wrapped in a python methods okay which we will see it now so this is how we define a layout for a single page so app dot layout so basically this is the layout for our apps we will see that this is little bit changed when we will be going to the multi page applications over there okay so let me try to write a very single single line or simple line over here so as we are developing a polling app probably initially i will just say welcome to the polling app maybe from next video onwards we will try to create questions and all because but before that we need to discuss some other stuff like how to integrate with database and those stuff from dash then maybe we will create those questions from the database and then try to fetch it from here so so that's why for in this video we will just try to stick to a very sing, simple line which we can display in our web page now to create a layout we can use these things so if i just go back to the dash documentation and go to dash html component so here if you see all the html tags are already pythonized over here so the main tag we will be using is for now is the div html dot div over here so which has a children basically uh, this is the first argument of this particular method which basically takes the list of other dash components it could be another div it could be a button it could be a line break anything right so which we can wrap inside this div so we can think of this div as a main container in our application correct so div this one so inside so if you see it is complaining about html so what we need to do is we need to basically import the dash html component now so it will be something like import dash html components as html okay so inside the div let us so it so it has a input called children this is the first input even you can call it without this named parameter as well so which basically takes an array of elements over here so in this array of elements you will basically specify your list of elements which will come under it okay so let's say we will use html dot h1 to display something so html dot h1 so if you see this is the actually not nothing but the h1 tag so behind the scene it will convert it to the h1 tag over here but in the dash we will write something like this one html dot h1 
and this is a method so inside that it is again has a children if you see it right so children equals to let's say any so i'll write welcome to the polling app so we'll write p in capital we'll make it beautiful letter so we'll, we'll come to the dash polling app maybe i will just do this one okay so let us try to see how this is getting displayed so if you see our server was still running because it was throwing the error but it was still running it did not stop over there now let's see whether it has any effect on our page or not so if i just try to refresh it if you see it is already refresh that one over here welcome to the dash polling app now if i just let's say add one exclamatory over here and save this particular script without running the server again let's see whether that is getting reflected or not if you see it is automatically getting reflected over here so this feature is called hot reloading that means you will not the you will not be running the server again and again you will you can run the server once whenever you are making the changes to your code if there is no error that will automatically be getting reflected over here so this is feature is called the hot reloading and if you see there is a button kind of stuff over here so if i just click on this one it says three things the server is up there is no errors and there is a something called callback graph so this will come only when your debug is true because we are running this particular app when we, with the debug is equal, equals to true over here right so when you will make it as false this that particular button will not come but when you when you will be developing in dash so that is very handy actually now there is a button over here if you see like which is grayed out because there is no callback over here so maybe we will start with callback from the next video because that will be needed when we will be developing a multi page application as well so we will first get the concept of callback then we will move this particular code base to a multi page app model then maybe we will start building our other stuff over there okay so hopefully this video was helpful see you in the next video